You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Well, Kyrie Irving of the NBA's Brooklyn Nets has come out and he has made a statement in regards to the vaccine. And it's a very powerful statement. As we all know, uh, Kyrie was, he wasn't even outspoken against the vaccine. That was the narrative that the media was trying to lead you down. They also tried to lead you down that same narrative with Joe Rogan and with Aaron Rodgers. That was not the narrative. None of the three individuals ever came out and said they were against the vaccine or anybody getting the vaccine. They just said they were choosing to not get the vaccine. They wanted more information. They wanted to know more about it. And they weren't willing to get it at this time. Now, of course, everybody related inside and outside of sports, mainstream media on both in both genres, Wanted to cancel these entities. Of course, Kyrie was not allowed to play home games in the NBA because ridiculous mandates. And all three were very vocal about the fact that nobody should ever lose their gigs over the vaccine. And of course, we saw that happen all over the place. Now, Joe Biden has come out and said that, quote unquote, the pandemic was over. Even some of his leftist lunatic friends are not appreciating that one. Leads us to believe a lot of the people that Uh, got forced out are they getting their gigs back we would love to know how about people related to the armed forces that lost their gigs are they getting their gigs back well Kyrie Irving has come out he's made a powerful statement and he is calling the forced vaccines the biggest violations in human rights history very interesting very powerful statement Kyrie Irving this is our kick on forced vaccines Biggest violations of human rights history. Most NBA training camps don't open for another week, but that's not stopping Kyrie Irving from taking shots. Brooklyn superstar point guard took to Twitter to dunk all over the fraudulent vaccine mandates that handcuffed our country for the better part of two years. Irving likely spoke out since he was a victim of such ridiculous mandates himself. Because he opted against receiving a COVID vaccination, Irving was forced to miss roughly half of last season. We also need to remember that Andrew Wiggins of the Warriors went ahead and got the vaccine, and he actually came out and said that he regretted doing it. And they won the NBA title, and he still regretted doing it. Think about that a minute. Though perfectly healthy, New York mandates refuse to let unvaccinated athletes play in indoor venues within the city. We're talking about the best athletes in the world. Best conditioned athletes in the world. We're not talking about people with compromised immune systems. My body, my choice, right? More like my body, my mayor's choice. Never one to hold back. Irving addressed the absurdity of the matter this morning. Irving tweeted in in part, quote, this enforced vaccine slash pandemic is one of the biggest violations of human rights history. If I can work and be unvaccinated, then all my brothers and sisters who are also unvaccinated should be able to do the same without being discriminated against, vilified, or fired. This enforced vaccine slash pandemic is one of the biggest violations of human rights history. Yeah, and think about the fact that there were literally people on Twitter that were calling for people to be arrested because they did not want to get vaccinated. I mean, that's crazy as hell. Not exactly the type of shots the NBA and New York City Mayor Eric Adams envisioned Irving taking, right? Irving not only has an issue with the vaccine and its mandates, he previously stood by the decision to remain unvaccinated, he also has a problem with those who are losing their jobs or facing criticism specifically those who have been dealing with issues because they are unvaccinated. I mean, we saw people in all kinds of lines of work that got canned over this crap. The 30-year-old 30, the 30 Irving was allowed to play in New York beginning in late March after Mayor Adams lifted the vaccine mandate for athletes and entertainers within the private sector, which is ridiculous. Talk about shitting on your citizens. 
Prior to that, he played only in away games except when playing against the Knicks. Some unvaccinated individuals haven't been as fortunate. And he goes on to talk about the statement we just talked about. So, Kyrie has repeatedly said that he is, quote, anti-mandate, not anti-vaccine. He spent the majority of 2021-22 sticking to his gun, supporting the choice to vaccinate or not, and praying for a logical end to the COVID silliness that surrounded the NBA and the country. You know, it's one of the weirdest things uh, for somebody like me that's in Texas where essentially after that first six months or so, eight months, everybody sort of, you know, the state kind of tried to pull out of that. Ron DeSantis, we know he he pulled out of there way early. And um, he just said, We're, our state's not going to be involved in this silliness. We're not going to take our economy over this damn thing. And he was looking at certain countries that didn't buy into this. And he said, you know what? I think there's a path here. There's antibodies. There's monoclonal treatments. All this kind of thing. And it proved to be the right decision to have made. Yeah. I got to give it up. I, for the longest time, look, I'm a, I am was, well, when I watched the NBA, I was a Celtics fan. So you can imagine that me and the view of Kyrie has never been that great, okay, even when he played for the team, all right? But he has shown a lot as a person when it comes to, to this vaccine. Again, like Aaron Rodgers, like Joe Rogan, like the people that were outspoken, none of them ever came out and spoke out against getting the vaccine if you chose to get it. They never had a problem with that. But they said you also shouldn't be forced to get it, and you also shouldn't be punished if you chose not to get it, and you shouldn't lose your jobs, and there should be no mandates about it. And, of course, he was vilified. People were so angry. I mean, there was so much fallout between Kyrie, Aaron Rodgers, Joe Rogan. Wow, it it was absolutely nuts. Pretty powerful statement here from Kyrie. Biggest human rights violations in human history. Think about that. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.